Hi Dr. Friends, I am Dr. Santosh Jha. Today's topic is types of epiphysis. It is most important topic for you of nearby NIT exam and FMG exam. I don't want to uh, waste your time and uh, so I will upload the video which are most important and most commonly asked in NIT PG, FMG, AMS. Uh, so please make a uh, note and revise it. Okay. So let us start without wasting up the time. Types of epiphysis. First of all, I start with this lecture. What is epiphysis? Epiphysis is that epiphysis. It is if we assume that it is the bone, then the epiphysis is the terminal part. In the simple language, it is the terminal part is epiphysis it is epiphysis and it is the diphysis and between them it is the growing plate this is growing plate known as metaphysis i am telling about uh, the epiphysis types which are most commonly asked in net pg first of all let's start with the pressure epiphysis Pressure epiphysis, it is the main epiphysis which transmit the our body weight and uh, which are lowest position. So most of the our body weight are transmitted to that joint. That means ankle joint is most of the weight transmit. Then next one uh, is what is the pressure mainly pressure for weight and it is present where the articular joint are present that means articular in nature example large articular joint large articular joint that means radio ulnar humeral joint that means elbow joint next one is shoulder joint next one is the pelvic joint next one is knee joint so this is the weight bearing joint so terminal bone is the epiphysis so you can remember the pressure epiphysis which is articular in nature and weight bearing next one is the aberrant epiphysis what is aberrant epiphysis it is may or may not present in the body so uh, you can remember that it may be present or not present example is the head of the first metacarpal and base of the wrist metacarpals aberrant that means first and wrist you can remember next one is the traction epiphysis traction epiphysis which are supporting in nature non-articular and which are attached with ligament and tendon example is TTM or you can remember it by the T T T T or M T T you can easily remember by this trick T for the tubercle of humerus that means greater tubercle or laser tubercle next one is the trochanter of the femur greater and lesser trochanter next one is the m4 mastoid process then after atavistic epiphysis atavistic epiphysis is phylogenetically independent bone is the example is the os trigonum coracoid process of scapula and posterior tubercle of the talus Thanks friend for watching my video. I am uploading the video which are most commonly asked 
in the PG exam. So you can remember this and any type of the advice you can comments on my comments box and subscribe my channel if my video is appreciable for you. Thanks again for watching my video. Have a nice day.